Hey Aries, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly reading. Happy birthday, you guys. <laughs> it is finally Aries season, the first of the Zodiac. Happy Zodiac New Year to all of you. Alrighty, so I hope you're having fun thus far. We got a whole season uh, of fun and partying and celebrating for you guys. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you have some big plans. Okay, let's get into it for this week. Aries, <clears throat> sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Aries this week? Okay, what do they need to hear and know for Aries this week? What's going on this week for Aries? Let's get three cards. We have Knight of Wands. Mm, fire sign energy coming out right off the bat. Keep it open mind as the cards come out. Could be you or your person that I'm picking up. King of Pentacles, okay? Earth sign energy coming through. And let's get one more. Eight of Swords, air sign energy. So someone is all in their head, just the initial energy. Someone is all in their head about coming in, rushing in. Someone is passionate, very passionate about having a long-term relationship. But then it's like someone gets stuck or someone, you know, gets trapped in their thoughts. Like, okay, but what if, what if something goes wrong? What if something happens? What if the outcome is not what I think it's going to be? What if Aries turns me down? Like someone is just too stuck in their head, but they're feeling like this, like, whoo, they're on fire for you. They're very sexually attracted to you. Um, I feel like for some of you, uh, this could have been a player, okay? This could have been someone who um, dated a lot of people, had a lot of options, slept around with a lot of people. And now this person is straightening up. They're turning like a new leaf, Um or a new lease on life or something like that, you know, that saying, but it's like someone like gets wise. Someone wants to be more stable, wants a stable relationship. Someone matures. They go from the knight of wands to a king. Okay. But they're a bit scared. They could be afraid of commitment for some of you. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, all a page, page of pentacles is here. They could be very nervous to tell you this. OK, because you may see this person as like a playboy, playgirl. You may see this person as having like a big social life, uh, someone who goes out a lot. And so they may be a bit nervous to come and tell you how they're feeling, but they want to take a leap of faith. Look, the full energy is here. They're a bit conflicted. They may feel like you have a bunch of suitors. So this person feels like they have competition. So it's like, oh, I don't want Aries to get away from me. Like they could be a bit jealous with the five of wands energy because they see you as the empress. Look at that. They see you as their person that they want to be with. They want to date, go out, have fun. Some of them could see you like going out, having fun, having a good time. And they feel like other people are watching you or have their eye on you. So I feel like this person may definitely struggle with jealousy. May definitely. <laughs> They definitely struggle with jealousy, okay? And then nine of pentacles, seeing you as single, successful, very stable. Um, they may like how you dress, be very attracted to you, okay? But they're keeping it a secret. Yeah, with the moon card there, could be dealing with the cancer for some of you. Six of swords, they want to come in, want to see you. Um, some of them could secretly drive by, watch you, if they know where you live, know where you work, or know where you hang out, okay? This person is not letting go of the thought of being with you. Let's put all these back, and let's get into the spread. And I feel like they want to come in and say something. What is that Knight of Wands energy? Let's clarify. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, yeah, Temperance. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius or someone with that energy. But I feel like this person, um, they could be terrified that you could be leaving them out in the cold with the five of pentacles, four of cups, afraid of rejection um, and temperance. They're trying to temper out or take their time. Okay. Have patience with themselves uh, when it comes to this connection. I also feel like this person was a person, if they were playboy, playgirl energy, this person was a person who was used to leaving other people out in the cold. Uh-huh. And four of cups, 
yeah, rejecting other offers and just doing their own thing. And I feel like now this person is slowing down. It's like they're realizing like, okay, that player lifestyle doesn't get them anywhere. <laughs> and now they're slowing down and they're turning into a king of pentacles, more stable, level-headed. And because I feel like they're trying to level up to you, the fact that you are this empress to this person. Okay, let's see why the king of pentacles is here. Yeah, 10 of cups, wanting a relationship with you, two of cups. What? Look at this energy, you guys. And then let's get one more for that. Yeah, the star card could be dealing with an Aquarius. You guys, this, this person sees you as their wish fulfilled with that star card. You are their hope. You are their star. You stand out to this person. Yeah, I feel strongly for a lot of you. This person was um, a person who was very good looking. So they got a lot of attention or they're currently getting a lot of attention from others. You may think this person is not even worried about you, but look, this is what they're feeling toward you, Aries. Like what? You may not even realize, <laughs> you may not even realize because they haven't told you yet. Okay. With that page of pentacles, they may uh, talk to you or you may get communication from this person, but it's not much. It's just kind of like, Hey, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it may be very awkward, like an awkward conversation <laughs> with this person, but they're really feeling the feels for you. Okay. What is the eight of swords for this person? Six of wands. Yeah. 10 of pentacles. Oh, okay. Okay. And then let's get one more hanging man. So the hold up is money. Okay. This person does not feel financially stable. So they, they see you as the empress, but their hold up is that they may be overworking, okay, to get their finances built up. This person, their ego may be caught in how much they have. So if you have a lot, this person wants to have a lot like you do, okay? Or they want to be able to provide for you. They want to be able to show, uh, you know, show you a nice time, take you out to nice restaurants, you know, take you on trips or whatever. And it's not that they're all about money or, you know, some little, you know, what do you call it? I'm I'm not thinking of the word, but what I'm trying to say is I feel like this person wants to be that person for you where if you needed something, they could be there for you. You know, they don't want to have to go to, you know, you know, a check cashing place or something. <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? They don't want to have to go and get a loan to take you out. You know, they don't want to have to get a loan to go to take you to a trip or vacation or something like that. This person wants to be able to provide. And if the two of you did take it to the next level and got married, I feel like this person wants to be able to provide a home, a stability, you know, family. They want to have all of that and not be worried about finances. They want to come in a certain way with the six of wands, 10 of pentacles. This is what is on their mind. Uh-huh. And but hanging man, their money is a bit stuck. Okay. They could even be losing money at this time. With the hanging man, the, the coins are falling out of his pocket. Okay. Or this person's finances could be tied up into something else right now. Okay. So let's clarify that energy. Cause I do want to see what that is. What is this energy, please? What is the, okay. <laughs> the hanging man. Wow. 10 of swords, four of swords. This person could be coming out of a, a relationship. Okay. For some of you, they could be coming out of something else with the four of swords and 10 of swords. Yeah. They could have just had a uh, ending. They could have lost a job for some of you. Okay, they could have had an ending with an ex. They could have been living with someone else and now they're trying to rebuild their finances after they've moved out. Okay, lost a job trying to get a new one. This person is rebuilding themselves. Wow, that came out very fast. And see, they want to look brave for you. Okay, with the strength card, I feel like this person wants to stand as a lion next to you. Okay, but they may not be feeling very brave right now. Yeah, they have a lot of feelings for you, King. Uh, Queen of Cups is there. Yeah, seven of swords. Uh, yeah, they they could be dealing with a baby mama, baby daddy who took money from them. Yeah, there we go. King, uh, the queen of cups. Oh gosh, I can't talk. The queen of pentacles with the ace of pentacles. And then we have the seven of swords and the queen of cups. So yeah, this person could be trying to uh, pay off a settlement or something with a divorce or something like that to move toward you. Okay, queen of cups. And they are hoping that you don't get away from them, okay? This person wants to come in, but they want to come in strong. They want you to see them as strong, okay? How do you feel? How is Aries feeling about this person? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. How is Aries feeling? 
Yeah, hermit. Okay, so you're just to yourself. You could be researching this person as well, like secretly researching them, wondering what they're up to, but you're not showing them. You're not showing them your emotions just yet or your hand, okay? How does Aries feel? Two of swords, yeah, because you don't know enough. Yeah, two of swords. So you're still researching. Give me one more. Eight of pentacles. So you're just focused on yourself and your own coin, your job, school, your body. You could be working out. Um, some of you are just more so focused on that right now. And you could be like, well, I don't know enough about this person yet. Um, they haven't made any big moves toward me. So I don't know how to handle that just yet. So you're choosing to focus on yourself right now. Okay. You are wondering about this person, but you're not making any big moves toward them. Okay. What's the potential outcome for this week between Aries and this person? Potential outcome for this week, the moon, still hiding feelings. Okay. Lots of secrecy, still hiding feelings. Emotions are still in the dark with the moon card. Okay. Anything else for this week? Yeah. Five of cups. This person is still a bit sad. Okay. Could be sad from uh, what they're dealing with or going through. They don't want to show you that, um, that they're going through a hard time or rough time right now. Like I said, this person could be leaving another relationship or this person could be uh, dealing with job loss at this time. Anything else for the outcome? Yeah, it's like once they get over this sadness, Knight of Cups, then they can come in and offer something and date you and feel more, uh, um, I feel more, they will feel more comfortable approaching you. There we go. But right now, this person is a bit, I feel embarrassed, a little embarrassed about their situation. What does this person want to say to Aries, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit? What does this person want to say? Yeah, they're feeling a bit lost right now. So they're not feeling very confident, okay? They're trying to step up to that King of Pentacles. They want to step up and be the person that you need. But I feel like this person is a bit financially stuck, okay? Give me one more. Yeah, isolation. Yeah, they're, they're kind of in a sort of a hermit mode themselves, just like you are. This person is feeling isolated right now. And I feel like, again, th this has nothing to do with you. I feel like this person is in their own head, stuck in their own situation. I don't care about you like I used to. I feel like this is a fear, okay? That you're you're moving on from them, that like your feelings are not invested um, as much as they would hope. And one more, okay? I look at that. Wow. How befitting. I am choosing to leave it all behind for you, my love. Look at that. Sometimes spirit just shows out with one card. That one card sums up the whole reading, you guys. Absolutely. Look, I'm a player is at the bottom of the deck. I told you that energy was here. This person could be getting a lot of attention from other people or that was their past life where they, they were getting attention from a lot of people, sleeping around, dating a bunch of people. And I feel like that turned you off and you decided to kind of close that chapter, but always wondered or um, those feelings still kind of lingered. Like, could there have been something between us? Um, I feel like this uh, person really wants to show you that there was a real connection between the two of y'all. It's just that this person probably blew their money on a bunch of stupid shit. And now they're feeling bad, you know, because karma uh, possibly has caught up with this person. What's the advice for Aries? A year from now, look at that. In a year from now, something could change with this person. Uh, the two of you could be in two different places, you know, emotionally, and maybe seeing this connection very differently in a year from now. Let's get one more for the advice. You're ready. Yeah, you're ready. But I feel like this person needs time. They need time. Yeah, just communicate clearly how you feel. Or if this person gets the opportunity to communicate to Aries, if you're a cross watcher, communicate clearly and tell Aries how you feel. Alrighty, you guys, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a happy birthday season. Live it up. Take a shot for me. I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.